Welcome to the 15th part of Spring Boot Kubernetes tutorial series. In this video, we are going to implement bookmark search functionality. In the previous video, we have implemented bookmark listing page where we talk to the backend API and fetch the bookmarks and then show in a pagination manner. Like um, we have pagination support where we fetch uh, first 10 or 15 uh, bookmarks and then we have this pagination where we can navigate across the pages. Okay. So in this video, we are going to uh, have a uh, bookmark search where user can enter any uh, substring of the title and then when they click on search, we are going to search the bookmarks based on uh, title and then show only the matching records. Okay. So here, uh, in order to show search form, I have created a search form.tsx file and I have implemented a simple form. Uh, here we have one input box where user can enter search keyword and then we have a form submission button and we are using react hooks use state hook where we store query and set query and we are initializing with a blank uh, string okay and when user click on the submit button we are calling this handle search um, form submission handler and uh, because we don't care about the event type, we are using React at synthetic event and we are checking whether is there any value entered by the user as part of the uh, keyword. If there is no value, we are redirecting to the bookmarks index page. Uh, it is nothing but bookmark listing page. And if there is any key, uh, keyword that contains any value, we are redirecting the user to the same bookmarks page, but with page one, and we are also appending the query parameter with name query and whatever the keyword that user entered here. We are not actually uh, triggering any backend API or anything like that. Based on the submission, we are simply redirecting to this URL. When that happens, it is going to re-render this index page only. But here we are going to handle the functionality of uh, earlier we have implemented how to get the page number and then uh, fetching the data accordingly, right? So now we are not only going to uh, fetch page uh, request parameter, we are also going to get a query and let us initialize with empty, okay? So when user enters some keyword and then press uh, search, we can capture that value uh, here um, as a query value and for the backend let us update not only page number let us include query also query which is nothing but a string and here let us uh, hold it in a url variable this whole thing okay and if there is any value in query, we are going to append this and person query equals to query. And then we are going to use that URL here. Okay, so basically, if there is any value for query then only we are appending this additional query parameter. Otherwise, it's going to uh, fetch only based on the page, okay? So now going back to index uh, screen here, we can again convert this to a string and then pass it, okay? Now, uh, let us also include the search form. Good. Now, if we go back to our uh, UI, now we can see this uh, search form with a one single input field and then a button. Now, if we let us say I'm going to put boot and then click on search. So it is uh, making an API call and only fetching the bookmarks which has boot in its title. So here, these are the records that are having boot in it and then we are fetching those details because it is uh, it contains less than 10 records uh, it, it's uh, disabling all these uh, fast navigation uh, uh, buttons but let us say if we search based on uh, a 
and there are more than one page of records that uh, has A in its title. So we have this pagination buttons enabled. But the thing is, here if we try to click on next, we can see it is not going to include a query parameter because when we navigate, we not only want to uh, fetch by page, in addition to that, we also want to filter by query value, right? But here, if you uh, see this, what uh, values it is trying to pass, it only passes page number because the pagination currently includes only page parameter. So we need to pass query uh, also to it so that we can append that query parameter also uh, for these links okay so let us do let us include this query which uh, it can contain value it can be null or undefined also so that's why we are using this question mark that indicates it can be a string or undefined okay and let us destructure query also and here if there is any value in query then only we need to include in this object otherwise we shouldn't right so what we can do const query params okay and let us check um, if query equal to undefined or query equals to empty okay there is no value otherwise it's going to include query so basically we are preparing an object comparing whether it is uh, containing any value or not if it contains then only we have one uh, key value query otherwise it's an empty object and here in addition to the page we can destructure query parameters so what happens if there is a value for query then it's going to include this uh, key value in this json object and when we destructure in addition to page it is also going to include query and its associated value to it okay so we are going to include uh, same for all other navigation links as well okay cool but here in order to pass it down from index we also let us include query here and then as part of props we can also pass query okay and then uh, for bookmarks let us include the same query it can be a string now from home while we are uh, using this bookmarks in addition to bookmarks let us pass query also uh, we can call from props start query okay and in this component we have uh, both rendering of each bookmark and also included the page nation we need to pass down the query here let us destructure query as well okay cool now let us see whether it is working or not okay so now we can see uh, by default if we search by a the url includes page equals to one query equals to a now if i click on next here you can see page equals to two and query equals to a okay so it is carrying uh, the not only page number but also this query string keyword okay so it's uh, that's all we have to do for uh, search functionality so let us quickly recap what we have done uh, we have created a search form which contains a simple form with one input field and a button and here 
we are using uh, react uh, use state hook to maintain the query value and also one thing to observe here is we are using this use router hook from uh, next and here uh, in order to uh, handle this programmatic navigation to a different page we have instantiated a router using use router hook and when user enters some keyword and then press on uh, submit we are handling this through this uh, handler method and here we are comparing whether is there any value in the search field and if not we are simply redirecting to the bookmark listing page otherwise we are uh, uh, pushing uh, this URL which not only contains page number equals to one and also including this query whatever the user entered okay so with this we are uh, simply re-displaying the uh, bookmark listing page but just we are including this additional query parameter and then in our get server side props we are uh, earlier we are uh, destructuring only uh, page now we are also destructuring a uh, query so and also we are initializing with uh, empty string so initially when user click on this it doesn't include either page or query so in that case it's going to get initialized with empty value and then we are uh, passing down that uh, additional query parameter to our api and then we are conditionally checking is there uh, any value in uh, this query parameter if yes then only we are appending to this uh, backend url otherwise we are simply passing only page parameter okay and then uh, we need to in order to uh, retain this query value uh, for uh, further navigation uh, links we are passing down that as a prop to this bookmarks and then in bookmarks uh, we are again passing down to this pagination as a query parameter <laughs> as a prop uh, again uh, currently we have uh, earlier we have only uh, maintaining the current uh, page and uh, what what should be the next previous last page numbers now con conditionally we are checking whether query is undefined or empty and if so we are not including any parameters otherwise we are including this and then we are destructuring it okay so this is all we have done and accordingly if you take a look at uh, our uh, search functionality now if i click on uh, search using any keyword it includes in this query and it is fetching and then when you click on next it is also including a uh, query parameter what are the value we entered okay so yeah let us try to search by git only this bookmark containing the git uh, keyword in the title so we are getting only this record so a search functionality is also working fine cool so uh, that's all for this video and uh, in the next video we are going to work on add bookmark okay thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos bye bye